doesn't ask for bread. He asks for water. Why water? He's asking for water because he's from a dry place. He wants to see if this church is full of water. He gets, he gets there, he says, I don't want to be in a place of devils. So he gets there and he asks for water. Give me water. And the woman says, ah, what, what I see is Gabo. She's going to pick water and says, please add bread. What is bread? Revelation. Ah, you, you, okay, okay. Okay, so Elijah wanted to see is this church living the truth and the spirit? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. He was, I don't want to be in a dry place. Yes. So she, she, she then goes and prepares the meal for him and he eats. Now, where else after that? Let's go back to Gideon. Now, the fleece full of water, land full of water. John 7, 38, out of your belly shall flow the rivers of life, water. It means that if you get to a dry place, before you do anything, ensure that you release the water in you. Uh-huh. 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 Now, when the river flows out of your belly, when you get to a place, ensure that you release the river, so that you deal with any dryness that is in the place. Done. Judges chapter 6. Issues of dryness. Demons love dry people. Demons love dry believers. Demons love dry worship. Demons love dry preachings. And they dwell in them. But here's the last thing. Here's the last thing. In Judges 14, we read of a man called Samson. Samson, what is this? Got married to a woman from Timna, a Philistine. When this woman and Samson had a failed marriage, I'm not going to bring it all to you. Samson had a failed marriage. Now, after a failed marriage, Samson destroyed some people in, in Timna. Go and stay in the valley of Etam. When he stayed in the valley of Etam, men of Judah saw the Philistines coming to gather in their land. And they asked, what are you coming to do in our land? They said, we're not coming to fight with you. We are coming here for Samson who destroyed our people. And where was Samson? He was at the valley of Etam. When he was at the valley, hear this. When he was at the valley, when he was at the valley, the Bible says that the men of Judah came and tied Samson to hand him over to the Philistines. And on their way to hand Samson over to the Philistines, hear this. When they are on their way to hand him over, the Bible says that they arrived in a place called Lehi, Ramat Lehi, or Lehi, the place of the of the, the place of the what? The place of the jawbone. Lehi means jawbone. We're in Judges 14 now. Lehi means jawbone. So when he arri- when they arrived tying Samson in Lehi, the Bible says that the Spirit of the Lord came upon him in power, such that the, 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 the ropes that tied him up loosened up like they were burned by fire. And the Bible says that Samson picked, you know this very well, he picked a jawbone of the donkey and destroyed 1,000 Philistines. Now watch this. What makes a man to pick the bone of the donkey and destroy 1,000 people when he's hitting this way? What about the others that are this side? When he's hitting this side, what about others on this side? And he does not even have a weapon. All he's having is just what? A jaw bone. What makes to do the, what makes men to do the unthinkable? It takes the Holy Ghost. It takes the Holy Spirit for men to do the unthinkable. It takes the anointing of the Holy Spirit to do things that you can look at and wonder, is this me? Is this me? How did this happen? It takes the power of the Holy Spirit for that kind of thing to happen. Think of it. Think of it. Here are people, and these are not just soldiers. These are special forces. The Philistines brought their best to come against Samson. One thousand of them, but one man destroyed all of them. What makes one man to destroy special forces of hell? It will take the Holy Ghost. It will take the Holy Spirit. I see you doing the unthinkable. I see you doing the unimaginable.
careful. Things that you will look at and wonder, how did I do this? The Holy Ghost made it happen. How did I break through? The Holy Ghost made it happen. They found me, handing me over for death. But how did I survive? I did not 